Hey everybody, Healthy Prepper here with some unusual ideas for preppers with pantyhose or nylons. Okay, so here are the ideas. Number one, uh, you can use a nylon or pantyhose to sprout uh, sprouting seeds. You just fill up the foot part, I'll be all, for all of these things, use clean pantyhose. <laughs> it would be best for anything food related. Okay, so basically, you'd fill up the foot area with the amount of seeds you want to use. And then what you would do is you would soak it twice a day underwater, uh, shake it out, and then hang it to dry. And um, as the days progress, your seeds would sprout, and then after about five days, you're ready to um, take them out and uh, use your uh, freshly sprouted veggies. That's number one. Number two is um, pantyhose, or nylons, make an excellent impromptu bungee cord. If you twist them, they become very strong. They're already strong, but that makes them even stronger. And you, if you need to tie something to your roof rack of your car, or uh, close your trunk lid, or if you want some bungee cords to attach things to your bug out bag, there you go. Plus they're very compact and they're easy. You can uh, quickly uh, put them into um, any uh, car or bug out bag for transport. These things are very uh, small. Um, also, uh, number three would be, uh, these uh, nylons or pantyhose are excellent to be used as a second skin uh, to reduce the friction if you're ever um, walking or bugging out perhaps where you're developing some blisters while walking. Uh, these, if you wear these, these will create a barrier uh, from friction between you and the boot or the sneaker or whatever you're wearing. Um, you can wear this um, between your sock um, and your skin. Uh, runners have done this for years. They wear two pairs of socks. One acts as a liner to absorb the friction so you don't tear your skin apart uh, on your feet. So that's an idea. Uh, number four is you can, if you ever find yourself caught in a volcanic eruption and there's volcanic ash in the air everywhere and you're trying to bug out, you can take uh, nylons or a pair of pantyhose and pull them over the in air intake um, in your car so that the volcanic ash um, does not clog your uh, car system. Uh, another thing is if you are bugging out or camping, you can put a bar of soap in the um, foot of the nylon or pantyhose and hose and just um, hang it off a tree. If you're showering or washing your hands, it's a great way to keep the soap clean and dry. Next person can come along and use it um, without ending it up in the soil getting dirty. Uh, another great thing for preppers is um, keeping warm in the winter uh, or any cold weather. If, uh, most of the ladies can probably uh, tell you that if when you wear your nylons or your pantyhose, it does give you an extra layer of warmth in between uh, you and the cold. It's amazing what a thin piece of uh, whipped material can really can really accomplish to keep you warm. It can create quite a difference. Um, apparently, back in uh, some aspects of the military, they used to actually use pantyhose to keep them warm uh, during military events and training. Um, number six is a fan belt for a car. This is one I remember hearing about years ago as a kid. Um, if your fan belt breaks, tie the two ends together and you've got an impromptu fan belt until you can get your, your uh, fan belt fixed or replaced. And then, uh, here's one I like, uh, numbers, I think it's number seven. The uh, um, fishermen have come up with a good one for preppers. Um, if you put, uh, you can actually make a crab net out of pantyhose. Uh, basically what you do is stuff the foot end with some uh, things that crabs like to eat, maybe shrimp or fish heads or fish tails or fish bones or something like that. Put them in here, um, tie a knot. Uh, tie some kind of string or rope. Make sure that this is weighted down. Uh, drop it in the water, let it sink to the bottom, and the little crabs will come along. And they get tangled up in the fine uh, webbing and the mesh of the pantyhose, and they get stuck in there. So if you, it's a good little uh, fishing um, tool to have in case of emergency. It doesn't take up a lot of room either. And um, 
Number seven is if you happen to have an Excalibur dehydrator and you find sometimes that smaller tiny food like um, herbs, uh, as you're trying to dehydrate them, when they get really small, they tend to sift down and, and travel through the layers of the, uh, the dehydrator and you end up losing some of the material that you're working with. Well, you can take some pantyhose, <coughs> excuse me, and cut um, a section out and you can actually stretch it over one of the squares to help. Um, now you've made a, a, a permeable membrane which, which you can dry. Um, moisture will evaporate very easily through this, but you will not lose your product or your material in the dehydrating process this way. So it's a great way to salvage some of those little lost pieces of dehydrating uh, material. Um, the next one is, um, oh, if you're trying to prevent onion rot, there you go. Got your onion, just toss it in. Your pantyhose. And then you tie a knot here, and uh, then you load the next onion, and you repeat the process. And what this does is it keeps air and space between the onions so that they don't get moisture and they will last longer. You can hang these or you can just uh, store these in a dark, cool cupboard to extend the life of your onions while prepping with those. And uh, the next uh, idea will go to all the gun owners out there. Uh, this is a great material to use for um, cleaning your gun. And the reason being is it's lint-free. Pantyhose have um, the excellent ability to be able to uh, very gently but um, efficiently wipe down any gun parts with a light gun oil and not leave any residue or lint or debris behind so that you have a, a nice clean contacts everywhere and no issues there. And my last idea, for uh, prepping with the pantyhose. I know it's an odd visual image, um, <laughs> but uh, what you can do is you can take, if you um, come across a stream and let's say you're bugging out and you need some water, um, take a, a plastic water bottle and you fill it up with a stream water, but you notice that there's some algae and chunks and things like that in there that you really don't want to ingest. So you just take your pantyhose and you put them over the top of the bottle and then you um, turn your uh, bottle inside or upside down and you pour the water out into another container that you're saving and uh, you've instantly filtered all the algae and debris, the larger particles and chunks, out, which is very helpful in any bug out or SHTF scenario. So I hope you never look at pantyhose the same way again. Uh, look at them with fresh eyes in the prepper world. They're very tiny. It's very easy to pack one of these. Um, they're very light into uh, your bug out bag or your car or um, anything like that. Just good to know a few ideas that we uh, hopefully all can use. Um, uh, it's nice to have these resources available and uh, to know other ways to use them. So here you go, folks. I'm trying to think outside of the old uh, soup can here. Give you some new ideas on some common household items that uh, you might find helpful in the prepping world. Take care, everybody. Happy and healthy prepping.